Hello Earth Signs. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well. Let's see what's going on for you guys in the next 48 hours for the Earth Signs. Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. Overall energy for my Earth Signs for the next 48 hours. Alright, so we have decisions. Somebody need to make a choice here in love. She gonna do here. Yeah, the full moon is very significant. So something about your love choice here around the full moon. All right, I feel like something is you're you're making a decision in love about the full around the full moon, which would be this weekend. All right, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Saturday. Uh, let's see here, my sugar lambs. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Earth signs. Swords, Virgos, and Capricorns. What's going on for you guys this weekend in love? Let's see here. Swords, Virgos, and Capricorns. Ooh, so we got an eternal struggle here. So this is going to be hard. Somebody is definitely struggling internally about this choice here. Oh, yeah, because I feel like you are connected to someone so deeply and it's hard to break away from said person. Okay. All right. Yeah, there it is. It says work through your feelings, though. All right, you can have Aries in your chart. You dealing with the Aries, but I feel like you need to work through your uh feelings. You gotta really express these joints. Yeah, relax. All right, you can have Cancer in your chart. Relax. You could be really tense about expressing your feelings to someone that you really want. All right, I feel like you could be traveling. All right, I see you traveling. Okay, I'm hearing surprise. So somebody don't know that you're coming towards them. I feel like you're um, about to surprise somebody, or somebody's gonna surprise you. Okay, when they come towards you, let's see here. What's the hidden truth about this uh, next 48 hours for the earth signs, okay? Yeah, they can't reach out to you here. So somebody feel like they can't reach out. All right, what else? It says, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't want to know, okay? And I can't do this. I am not over you though. So wait. That is contradictories all over the place. So somebody is not over you, Earth sign, but they feel like they just can't keep doing this back and forth with you. All right. Um, they miss you here. Okay. But they not willing to, I guess, put up with something or you're not willing to put up with whatever the hell they got going on. All right. So there's going to be some sort of uh, compromising energy here. All right. I'm here before it's too late. Somebody needs to figure something out before it's too late. Because the shift is happening, okay? Either you're tired of this situation or they are. All right, yeah, somebody is waiting for somebody to get it to you. I'm hearing get a grip. Somebody is waiting for somebody to get a grip here about something here. Or this is you talking to yourself, Earth sign. Like, let me get my shit together or I need to get a grip here because I really need to make this decision. And I feel like that the choice is yours here, okay? This could be about a Gemini here as well. Or Aries, because the lovers is Gemini. You might have two different lovers here or two love choices that you need to make a decision about. But there's one, something that's near and dear to your heart, Earth signs, that you are definitely focusing on, whatever that is. You could be spying on somebody that you want to be with. It's like you trying to, like, release this person, but you can't. All right? Let's see here. I'm here. We could have been. Okay. So that's why you can't let something go. Because y'all, you feel like you could have been something special with this person. Or they feel like they could have been something special with you, Earth sign. All right. You could be a Virgo or dealing with another Virgo. I'm here, a Virgo. All right. Yeah. You feel left out of the cold from somebody that you really want. Okay. This Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is you, Earth sign. So it's like, damn. Like, I really want to be with this person here. This is Taurus and Virgo energy here. All right. Feeling left out in the cold. And it's like, damn. Like, can I, um, I really want that person. Like, what do I, how do I say something to them? But this monster within whatever this is, you having other lovers and all this, you know, somebody not with that shit or something like that. Okay. Tell me what's coming towards you guys. For the next 48 hours, Earth signs. All right, we're going to take this card. Okay, I like that I took this card. But this is a gift, Ace of Pentacles. So this is a gift from the universe. Yes, look at that, the Empress. I love it. So this is you. You're about to get your Empress's attention. I was like, okay, I'm listening. Yeah, full card. I feel like you did something foolish in the past with your Empress. But they waiting, they listening. It's like, I hear you. Uh-huh. Yeah, somebody definitely has feelings for you still. 
Yeah, but I feel like they just not willing to go through all of that, whatever you struggling with, your internal struggle. <laughs> They're not with that, okay, whoever this person is, all right? But they definitely are willing to give you a second chance or move something forward here, all right, with this Ace of Pentacles. All right, this is a gift here, full card, Aries energy. How is this person coming towards you here? Okay, it could be an Aries. Let's see. All right, yeah, no more juggling. This you, Capricorn, you done juggling, you done going back and forth, you done trying to not knowing how, who's it, what's it, what you want, okay? Yeah, because this shit only had you stressed the fuck out. Like, <laughs> you really want somebody, maybe even sexually, okay? And it's like, this got you stressing. Aquarius energy with the nine of swords. You have Aquarius in your chart. This got you stressing, yeah. Okay, uh-huh, moon energy. Because you got to hold it all in. And it's like, nobody knows. This is an internal struggle. It's like, nobody knows how you're in balance you feel without somebody. Um, and it's like, this shit is stupid to you now at this point. This is all earth energy you could be doing um, with another earth sign. Or this is just your energy that's coming out very strong because this is something that you've been trying to work on. Okay, I'm here at Capricorn because this is Capricorn energy here. Um, this is some sort of internal struggle that you've been trying to work on, okay? What's the obstacle here for you, Earth Signs, okay? The obstacle is Seven of Cups. So you feel like it's wishful thinking at this point. Yeah, Five of Cups. Yeah, because you feel like you really lost this person already, okay? Maybe you betrayed somebody here. Yeah, King of Pentacles. I can't be. Listen, you're definitely a masculine Earth Sign. Whoever you are, are you? Yeah, King of Pentacles here. This is Taurus Energy. Taurus, Capricorn, because you really love somebody here. This, Yeah, you want to do the right thing here. But you feel like you missed the opportunity to be with this person in a marriage. And that really hurts. Or a relationship. That hurts your heart, Chakra. Okay? Maybe you thought you had other options and they was just wishful thinking that they was. No. Or you always got a lot of options. Like, people just be falling all over you. Like, hmm, let me see. Do I want you? Do I want you? I don't know. Maybe I want you. I don't know. I might want you later. I don't know. Call me. You know? So, you have that very magnetic energy whereas though anybody everybody wants you kind of energy air sign and it's like you don't know who to choose you know you want me i don't know but I don't know, maybe you're good damn you look good too so that's the eternal struggle <laughs> okay you're gonna have to fix that all right that's working through your feelings what do you really feel who do you really love kind of energy what is the outcome of this situation i'm hearing yeah because somebody either you wanted somebody to come to you, not this time. Okay, that's what I heard. Okay, yeah, damn, it's the Ten of Cups, though. You're going to be happy with whatever the fucking outcome is. Damn! <laughs> Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Somebody is heartbroken about this shit. Somebody is your complete wish fulfillment. And it could be a third party here. Yeah, because you about to ghost this fire sign or not talk to this fire sign no more. Hell yeah, because it's it's distant anyway. You're, yeah, they're causing you a stalemate anyway because you don't even give a fuck about that person anyway or however this is. It's like, why are you in my bed? Or I need to go towards my happiness. You're about to get the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. If this was a wish or thumb into yours, by you working through your feelings and actually expressing yourself, this is coming in. That's what the Ace of Pentacles is. So big money blessings in the next 48 hours, all right, or whenever you click on this video, okay? Somebody was trying to cause a stalemate for that to happen. What's the Ace of Pentacles here? Coming towards you. Wow, the devil. So this is definitely you, Capricorn. This could be coming from some money, from an establishment here. Somebody's so mad, this Capricorn, because they tried to sabotage this. You could be dealing with another Capricorn. They were trying to sabotage your money here. All right. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Somebody is heavily burdened, man, because they're... Somebody is definitely jealous about somebody having a gift here or about to give some sort of gift because they keep trying to block this uh, two of cup situation here or somebody you want to be with here. What's this ten of wands here? And it's becoming a burden on this uh, Capricorn here. All right. What's the ten of wands? Yeah. Eight of swords. So something is a struggle to keep you stuck anymore. Okay. Or keep somebody stuck. Yeah. In a marriage or a relationship. You're the fuck out source. Okay, it's like no, or in a religious way of doing something or whatever, spirit, religion or something. It's, it's, it's like you're changing your views on something because it was causing the imbalance in your life. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. That's right. It was causing too much imbalances with your Two of Cups. 
you're done with that. You're no longer juggling. Yeah, because somebody was trying to make you bound, uh, uh, cause some sort of imbalance. I feel like you're manifesting this two of cups. Yeah, and somebody's scared now. Yeah, because you about to be with your empress, okay? Period. This empress definitely um, is, on this, is on their path with the moon here. All right. I feel like somebody definitely, you don't, didn't see that you were coming towards them. You don't, maybe your empress don't see you coming towards them, king of pentacles. Yeah, they don't see that. But you want to be with this empress. Two of pentacles, I'm sorry, two of cups, empress, any sign here? All right, yeah, but this is Libra energy. But somebody tried to cause a stalemate between you two. Yeah, they were trying to, you've been trying to hold back from having sex or taking action here. Right? Or something like that. What's the Empress here? Or they're holding back sexual energy from you. Or they don't want to have sex with you or something. What's the Empress here? Death card. So the Empress definitely has ended all of their fears. So this Empress is no longer afraid to be with you or something like that. Yeah, they're not afraid to get on this path with you. So I might miss the opportunity to cause challenges for y'all to talk when y'all do communicate. So if you do communicate with your empress here, they're going to talk to you. Everything's going to move smoothly here. That's why the Ten of Pentacles, that somebody's mad though that this is actually going to play out here because you're making the right decision to express yourself here. What is this? Uh, Seven of Cups. Somebody had wishful thinking that... Um, this empress was going to be afraid or not go through a transformation. What is this here? Um, seven of Cups here. So yeah, somebody had wishful thinking that they was going to get away with something. Okay. A Sagittarius. Some fake communication. Somebody had wishful thinking that they was going to lie about something. And they didn't. Okay. Seven of Swords. Yeah, two of Swords. The lie that caused a stalemate. Yeah, Capricorn. They thought they could hold, hold you back. All right. No, two of swords here. They wanted you to be closed off to someone here. Yeah, Virgo. Somebody wanted you to stop dealing with someone. That's, that's coming to an end to be closed off just because of somebody's religious belief systems or um, spirituality or whatever. It's like you're not closed off anymore. It's like I'll stop dealing with this. This Taurus is like, no, I'm ready to reinvest or really invest in moving forward in my life here. I feel like maybe to heal something here. I feel like healing something will bring... Like you mastering something within yourself, working together here with someone here, teamwork, team player here is going to bring karmic justice here for you. Somebody you're ghosting and you're walking away from, they know that everything is going to work out for you or you're leaving. Somebody know that everything is going to be beautiful for you here because you're actually changing or you went through some sort of transformation. What is this 10 of cups for you, earth sign? So you're happy here. This is happy life, happy happiness okay what's the ten of cups yeah you're about to be really happy on this path by the full moon mm -hmm. three of wands somebody is prepared to receive something by the full moon this ten of cups this ten of pentacles okay what's this three of wands here yep world card you're going to be in a brand new cycle you know the wait is over all right what's the world card here brand new cycle here yeah Four, six of uh we're healing your heart six of swords moving forward Yep, and communicating to somebody. And then it's like, uh, you're going to be moving forward with this person here. Um, it's like somebody puts you on the right path. Whoever this feminine energy that you're going towards is, they put you right in your feelings and they put you on the right path to healing. And it's like, you want to, yeah, you'll follow them. Because if you see how she's leading him to healing, to love, to all of this, okay? And it's like, you're... You'll let her lead you to these things, okay? Yeah, I can't make it up. You're going towards love with your soulmate. Yeah, I feel like forward movement here is beautiful. I feel like you're going to be moving forward here. I feel like there was a water sign that was going to try to hold somebody back. It's not going to work, all right? So you're moving forward in love. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful, earth sign. In the next 48 hours. Or you're going to where somebody you love, but it's gonna move forward for you. Brand new cycle, so yeah, you can be dealing with a high priestess, or you're this high priestess. Okay. A high priestess could have taught you a lesson here. Yeah, Earth Angel. Yeah, you could be dealing with an Earth Angel, and there was a karmic lesson from the karmic woman that you had to learn before you got with this Earth Angel, Virgo. All right, we got Earth Angel here. M-N-O or P, first, last, middle, initial. 
We got Virgo. We got A, B, C, or D. All right. You could be this Virgo Earth Angel or you're dealing with this Earth Angel, okay? Let's see here. What's the message here? Yeah, we got Thursday. All evil eyes going blind. That's tomorrow. U, Y, and Z. First lay is middle initial. U is the one, but they about to lose you for good. We got divine bodyguard. It's protecting someone from a karmic male, okay? So if somebody's there karmic, they're not coming in. Yeah, and if somebody was doing hexes or curses, it's backfiring on them. Okay, so whoever your empress is has a divine protector around them here. We got Saturday, so this weekend, we got a year ago here. Something could be going on this weekend here. We got Q, R, S, and T. First lay is middle initial. Somebody only wanted money. Yes, they lied to you about everything or somebody lied about everything. That's why somebody leaving maybe. Okay, I see cancer here. All right, yeah, somebody salty as fuck here about Monday. I don't know what happened Monday and Tuesday. Somebody was salty as shit, this cancer here. Yeah, karma. All right, by Sunday, this weekend, is somebody karma here to see somebody happy or whatever. All right, because somebody is very much so connected to the universe and to the all. All right. Yeah. So something is like literally, um, yeah, with the soul contract. By the full moon, somebody's protected from this Capricorn. Or Capricorn, you're protected from somebody. All right. They've been protected or whatever. But, yeah. I hope this helped you guys. Send you guys an abundance of love, light, and healing vibes. Talk to you later.